요한두파 동탄교회 단임 강사 홍기철입니다. 반갑습니다. Hello everyone. I am the head instructor of John Charles Dongtan Church. 오늘 주신 아버지 하나님께 감사 영광을 올려드립니다. First, let us give thanks and glory to our Father God who allowed us to be here today. 오늘 이 말씀 대성에서는 Today in this word seminar, we will fully reveal the actual entities that Jesus promised in his blood 2,000 years ago and fulfilled and showed today, the fulfilled realities of Revelation. From April to June this year, Shinshinji Church of Jesus held word seminars in six major cities for domestic pastors and theology students. There were over 230,000 people who attended these seminars in person, and collectively, they have over 12 million views on YouTube. In this way, Shinchenji's revealed word has been received very well. Thus, churches around the world that have experienced the word of Shinchenji Church of Jesus on or offline are signing MOUs with Shinchenji. Currently, 8,176 churches across 80 countries have signed an MOU with Shinchenji to exchange the word. This began with the requests from pastors who attended the word seminar we hosted overseas last year. Shinchenji shared its theology materials with and dispatched instructors to churches and theology schools that have signed an MOU and it is actively exchanging this for the common goal of exchanging the word. Such exchanges are very unprecedented and are happening for the first time in the history of the churches around the world. Until now, the doctrines from different denominations were not in harmony with each other, and they were in a cycle of division and conflict. But now, it looks like we are focusing on a new beginning in such a sad history. Today, we are again hosting word seminars in major cities across South Korea, including here in Seoul, as well as in Busan, Gwangju, and Daegu. Since we are participating in what will be a precious time today, please open your hearts wide and let this be a graceful time in which we can verify the word of the book of Revelation, which allows us to understand the whole Bible. And in order to welcome all of you who are here, we have prepared a beautiful performance. We prepared two in total. The first is a strong drum performance, and it's supposed to express heaven and earth trembling at the sound of the testimony of the revealed word that began in heaven being opened on this earth. So without further ado, let's welcome Shinchinji's Heavenly Culture Performance Team with a great round of applause.
네, 멋진 공연을 신 우리 공연팀에 yes. 큰 박수 부탁드립니다. Uh, let's give the performance team a great round of applause again. 목소리가 아직도 I can still feel the strong drum beats in my heart. How about all of you? 너무 좋았죠. It was so good, wasn't it? 오늘 말씀 대성회에서 증거되는 계시 말씀도 I believe that the revealed word that will be testified in our word seminar today will also ring in our hearts like these drums and will go out into the whole world. Let's give another round of applause to the performance team. Actually, Shinchunji's revealed word is going out into the whole world. Many churches around the world have replaced their church signs with that of Shinchunji Church of Jesus. In other words, they applied to enter the church, and currently, 1,237 churches across 33 countries have voluntarily replaced their signs with Shinchunji signs. Not only this, but there are also pastors who are currently learning our official course in the Zion Christian Mission Center, Shinchunji's Theology Education Institution. In South Korea alone, 435 pastors are taking the course, and 2,442 pastors are taking the course overseas. In this way, Shinchunji's word exchange and MOU ministry are moving beyond being promises and documents, but are transcending church and denomination so that all churches are sincerely becoming one in the word. Because there is one God and one word, I sincerely pray that all churches may become one in the word. For our next performance, we have prepared a fusion with traditional music and dance. We will listen. Let's welcome them with a great applause. Oh, yeah. 
Let's give another great round of applause to our performance team. Yes, that was such a moving and beautiful performance. Aren't we believers living on the earth that has been built through God's love and Jesus' sacrifice? If we were to become one in God's promises on an earth as beautiful as this, then I believe it would become a much more beautiful and peaceful world. Let's give another round of applause for the performance team that prepared such an amazing performance for us. Yes, many people are participating here. So why don't we greet the people next to us saying, it's nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. It's so nice seeing all of your smiling faces. Yes. Now it's time to listen to the word. I hope that you will gain a lot of grace and understanding through the word that will be preached today. But first, we will have a representative prayer. Mangi Jin, the head instructor of John Tribe Sangnam Church, will come out and pray for us. Let's pray together. Father God, the creator and the source of eternal life and all blessings, we give you sincere thanks for allowing us to host this Shinchenji Word Seminar on revealing the fulfilled realities of the new covenant revelation through Jesus' tremendous love on the cross. We also thank you for sending the chairman of Shinshinji Church of Jesus, who is Jesus' messenger, who testifies the fulfilled realities that have been fulfilled as prophesied in Revelation to the churches, and who saw and heard firsthand at Jesus' side all of the fulfilled actual entities when Jesus fulfilled the events of the entire book of Revelation in order to save many people. Please fill tribe leader Young Jun Yu of Seoul James Tribe, who received the testimony of the entire book of Revelation through the promised pastor, the chairman, with the Holy Spirit when he testifies the word today. In particular, many pastors, theology students, and saints who believe in you and Jesus and who have been working very hard to spread the gospel are in attendance here today. Since it says that you are the one who guides a person's steps regardless of the path he may plan in his heart, Attending today was not a coincidence. To everyone who came today in your great grace, please allow them the ears to hear, the eyes to see, and the hearts to understand the word that will be testified. And please let them receive all of the blessings you've prepared. We believe that you gave us the Bible to let us understand your will and to give us the blessings of the kingdom of heaven and eternal life. There is only one God, only one Jesus, and only one Bible. Therefore, we believe that we are one family in you, in Jesus, and in the truth. Please let all of us become one through the word and let us all receive the blessings of the kingdom of heaven and eternal life together. Please also bestow your great grace and the blessings from heaven on those who helped us rent and are helping at this space for this event so that we could testify your precious word. We believe that you will guide everything. We give you thanks and we pray all of this in the holy name of Jesus Christ who saved us from sin. Amen.
아멘. Amen. Now, before getting into the word, I will introduce Young Ju Yu, the Seoul James tribe leader, whom God allowed to preach the word of truth today. Around 2,000 years ago, 12 disciples were always with Jesus, the pastor whom God promised. In the same way today, by the appearance of New John, the pastor promised in the New Testament, 12 tribe leaders in the position of the 12 disciples who follow him have been appointed. This is based on the words of Matthew 19:28 that go, At the renewal of all things, when the Son of Man sits on his glorious throne, you who have followed me will also sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Among them, the tribe leader of Seoul James tribe, which crosses the Seoul, Gyeonggi, and Dongbu regions, will preach the word to us today. I hope that when he fully testifies the fulfilled realities of Revelation, the new covenant Jesus promised in his blood, everyone will be able to gain precious understanding and grace. So let's welcome with a uh, great amen and let's welcome tribe leader Yu Youngju with a great round of applause. Shinchanji 12 tribes. Everyone who participated to the Our Bible Seminar, I'd like to welcome everyone. I am Shinchanji Church of Jesus, Seoul James tribe leader, Yu Young Ju. Um, every God's family who attended today's event, I hope God's love and grace can be with you forever and ever. I pray that in the name of Jesus. In this big place, everyone has built this place. And this indicates this is the work of the Holy Spirit that has been followed according to the God's word. I am in the same position with you. However, today I stand before you and I'm available to deliver this precious word of life is because Shinchenji Church of Jesus, the Temple of Tabernacle Testimonies Chairman, he have heard, seen, and learned everything. And I learned from him and now I'm able to deliver this word. I was also just like you keeping the life of faith in the Protestant Church for 10 years, in the Presbyterian Church. And then, I received this revealed word through chairman, and after I heard this word, following to the big willingness of God, now I kept the life of faith in Shinchenji for more than 30 years. It's not that long, isn't it? Within that period, has the 40 years of the history. So most of the years, I've been here and also fulfilled many works. By the way, throughout today's time, the promised word, the revealed word, let us meditate together, understand the God's will, and understand kingdom of heaven and eternal life that God promised, and let's all fulfill that great willingness of the salvation. Like the friends and like the people who know, let us open our hearts and let's assume that we are like communicating so that please freely listen to this word. In Shinchenji, we are not trying to testify the man's teachings or man's thought. However, we try to plainly testify the God's word. So within this short time, But throughout today's time, I hope everyone can go through the meanings of the Bible and see how and why Shinchenji has grown up rapidly. Let us find it out together. Throughout the presider, 
like MOU, were changing the sign board into Shincheonji. The work of the rapid growth of Shincheonji has been announced. Then, can it be fulfilled through the man's will? How come Shincheonji can grow up so rapidly? Everyone, you might be a bit curious about that. Or some some people might participate in here just out of curiosity. Okay, let me try to hear it out. Well, everyone has joined this, but I believe not even a single person came here voluntarily. Since God managed everyone's heart, and since God guided each of your footsteps, that's how we are all here. So everyone, please open your heart, let us learn the God's word, realize, receive the grace, and enter to the promised kingdom and salvation. Let's make this time very precious. And let me move in front of the blackboard and, sorry, to the smart board and let me explain it. Here it says, Shincheonji Bible Seminar, and underneath, the big title is written. It says, what? New Covenant Revelation Reality, it says. Many of the vocabulary might be unfamiliar to you. We are not here to just testify the meanings of the promises. But the reality means what has been fulfilled. Then, we should know what is promised to fulfill so that after it happens, we can recognize it and believe in it. So, in John chapter 14, verse 29, Jesus said, I've told you now before it happens so that when it does happen, you will believe. So, the Bible, it has both Old and New Testament. That means the Bible is the word of the covenant. I want to actually test you how much you're familiar with the Bible. Even though you don't say Amen, I will test you. But how I will test you? Bible has Old Testament and New Testament. Within 66 books of the Bible, then how many times the word Old Testament or how many times the word New Testament appear? And what does Old Testament indicate? And what does New Testament indicate? Actually, we are not that interested in it. We just thought it is the Bible and we carried it. So cover, your Bible cover might be black. And the outside or the pages are being highlighted into red. But not just outside. Like it is said in the title, we like to testify all the actual entities that has been fulfilled. So this person, or so why did I keep the life of faith more than 10 years in the Presbyterian Church and then moved to Shincheonji Church? throughout today's time. Let's real life. Let's find out what is the true meaning inside of the Bible. And let's all receive the great blessing, which is the eternal life together. First, let us read John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Until verse 4, can you read? He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. Amen? Okay, thank you for reading. First, let's check God's will and His purpose. These days, everyone, the technology has been developed so much that I have been
특별히 좋은 시절입니다. 왜 이렇게 문화가 발전되었을까 하는 이유도 좀 알아가야 됩니다. 왜냐 하나님께서 지구촌의 모든 사람들에게 하나님의 이 구원의 소망에 다 들어오게 하기 위하여서 모든 so 것들을 이렇게 발전시켜가는 그런 영광이 되어짐을 깨달았으면 좋겠습니다. So that is why he is working on this earth. I hope everyone can realize that. 태초에 뭐가 계셨다 그래서 What does it say in the Bible? In the beginning, there's the word. And who is with word? 말씀이 누구라 그랬습니까? The word was with God and word is what? Word was God. 이 말씀은 무엇이라 그랬나 하면 그 안에 뭐가 있습니까? And inside of the word, what is there? There's the life and the light in it. Does it make sense? Who is the word, everyone? The word is God. And within that word, what is contained? Right. The life is there, and also there's the light. So everyone again, God, He is the Word in the beginning, and He is the life and the light. I'm very good at drawing. Let me try to draw it here. What is it? How good it is. Since you can recognize it. Why did I draw human here? So God is what? God is word. Then, what will happen when that word goes into man? Then God will be inside of the man, right? And what does that mean? If word is not in my heart, who is not in my heart? God is not in there. Now, why does Shinchenji testify the word? Correct, everyone. Does it make sense? Not just the word is in the beginning, and the word was with God, the word was God. We are not just saying it out. When the word goes inside of the people, then who can enter to us? God can enter to that person. So, in John chapter 1, what does it say? Word is also like the what? Word is like the way, everyone. The word is the way and the path. Whose path? It is the path of God. Again, what? It is the path that we can go to God. So, Word and word, because wherever the word is, God exists. Then let me ask you. I will ask you a lot of questions today. Then everyone, do you have the word inside of you? If you have the word in you, then God is in you. I go to church all the time, but if I do not have what? If I do not have the word, then who is not there? God is not there. I've met many people, and someone says like this, In my church, there is no word. Do not know the significance behind of it, and then that person just mentioned it. When there is no word in the church, who is not there? God is not there. Then why does he go there? When there is no God. Everyone, you placed here, you came here to meet who? To meet God. Actually, that's the truth. As much, word is very important and significant. I hope everyone can understand that first. So if the word is inside of me, I belong to the light. So in the Bible, Jesus said, you are the sons of light to the disciples. Jesus, how he will come at night? He will come at the night, it says. Why? Because there is no word in the world. We thought it was just physical night time. No. But those people who do not have the word of God, they belong to the darkness. That's why Jesus he promised to come at what? Like the thief. Why? Nobody knows it. And if the word is in me, what do I hold? I hold life as well. Because I have the life. Then am I a living one or dead? I'm a living one. I'm alive. If the word is not inside of me, it's bad to say, so you didn't say, right? So what does Bible talk about? Bible describes 
God's will and His purpose. The Bible does not simply emphasize that we should believe Jesus well. The Bible describes God's will and His purpose. Then what is that God's will and purpose? To tell you the points first, it is to find what? It is to find the lost Glover village back. That long history of the God's work. This is not my story, everyone. A very heartbreaking God's story I'd like to introduce. Why did God lose the global village? And he's on the way to finding it back. Then what does he do? What kind of effort did he put to find everything back? Understanding all this process is the way to understand about God truly, and that's the truth. Not just passionately asking, please give me. Just please bless. That is not the true believer's image. To find everything back, what did God do for 6,000 years? And what it says? God's new kingdom and new nation. So God's purpose is to recreate God's new nation and new people. What does it mean by recreated? The previous creation didn't go well. That's why God tries to recreate so that what God can do so that God can live together forever. I said long, but shortly speaking, God wants to make kingdom of heaven and eternal life. But churchgoers usually think, just I go to church, believe in God well, and after I die, then I just go to where? Those who are supposed to go just pass away. Those who are supposed to pass away just die. But then after that, where do they go? What does Bible says? Bible says Bible wants to. Bible says God wants to come back. So usually church goers say they go up, but God says He wants to come down to us. So what is the true God's willingness? What is the true path of righteousness? Where does God come? When God comes? How? And why? Like everything it is recorded in the Bible. Does it make sense? So, though it is a short time, but I hope everyone can understand a bit of that story. If you want to understand more, then you can study. Where? Place where I can teach. So I, I didn't know anything. And then I went to the Zion Christian Mission Center following summon. And then I found myself here in the end. Why did I keep listening to there? Because there was something to listen. People, they continue to go somewhere that benefits them. Even the beasts in the world. When there's the food, the beasts, they go there to eat, right? Why? They know there's the food. Fish, or anything on this earth. To survive, they find the places to eat where the food is. Now what about the believers, the children of God? If I do not understand the God's will, it's ridiculous, right? So now let's stop saying what heresy or cult. I've heard cult a lot after I came to Shincheonji. Friends around me always says, oh, you're so weird. Why do you go to the cult? Funny thing is, sometimes we Shincheonji, we hold events open and we invite families and friends. And some of them says, well, after I came to Shinchenji and checked it out, it is not that bad. And then what I asked him, what do you mean? Then that church goer says, oh, my church pastor said that Shinchenji people, they have a horn on their forehead. Well, we don't have that kind of things, right? Even if I kept the life of faith for decades, yet maybe you might first time to hear this. 
How did God lose Glover Village for 6,000 years? And what did he do to find everything back? Should we know this or is it okay to ignore it? We must know this. People will not ask you to pay more tax after you know it. So, if we keep the life of faith, let's at least understand this so that we can find true value in keeping the life of faith. So let me describe the 6,000 years of the history of the Bible. First, there's the Adam's word. 6,000 years ago, God, in His image and in His likeness, He created man. It means people originally are children of God. Even if they are non-believers, originally, they are all children of God. How do we know that? We find Father when we are in rush, isn't it? When we are desperate. Who is that Father? The Father is God. You're not asking to your physical parents. Always in the Western countries, what do they say? Oh my God, oh my God. So everyone they looks for God, no matter they're from east or west, everyone instantly find and know God. Why? Originally, we are all created in His likeness and in His image. One day, our Korea, due to the Korean War, many separated families were there. So they want to find their family back. Everyone. So they were so desperate. Likewise, what about us? We should be desperate to find our father back. So let's think about the value of the life of faith again. So long time ago, God, He created everything and then He gave everything to, God, to Adam. So we say that people Man, now, they are the rule of everything. So, in the past, everything listens to Adam, including the animals. So, when you go to Quachin City, we, there's the zoo. And when you talk to the lion there, will the lion listen to you? No. Why? Nowadays, people, they are not haunted by the animals. Even the small dead animals, they run away when the natural disaster comes. Before even natural disaster comes, who become the fool? People, they became the fool the most. Why? How come that people or men become so inferior to everything? Well, if I tell you everything like this, you cannot go home today. Anyway, God created everything. God gave everything to Adam, and then He promised one thing. In the Garden of Eden, there were two trees. Tree of life and tree of knowledge of good and evil. So let me just simply say, tree of good and evil. Sometimes people, they slander me saying, why don't you say tree of knowledge of good and evil? Not, uh, instead of saying that you're saying tree of good and evil. Let me just briefly say it. Anyway, when we eat from the tree of life, we'll get eternal life. But when you eat fruit from the tree of good and evil, you will die. That's what God said. But then, Adam, he in the end ate the fruit from tree of good and evil, deceived by Satan, the serpent. So, Adam, he broke the covenant against God. And that is called sin in the Bible. The sin of not keeping the covenant, sin of not listening to God. What happens when you eat from the tree of life? You will get eternal life. What happens when you eat from tree of good and evil? You die. Due to this, the religion started. But funny thing is, even if they become PhD in theology, pastors or the saints, yet people do not understand what tree of life indicates, or what tree of knowledge of good and evil indicates. And 
Not many people try to find meaning behind of it. Though everything started, the matter of life and death started from here. And someone says tree of good and evil is an apple. The fruit of tree of good and evil is an apple. If tree of good and evil and its fruit is talking about the literal fruit, then what does fruit of tree of life indicate? Is it also talking about the literal fruit? If the tree of good and evil is the real tree, there must be the real tree of life then. However, even if theology has developed a lot, yet there is no one who can truly tell us the meaning behind of tree of life and tree of good and evil. Why? The Bible says there is the secret. And when is that secret revealed? Like, our, like the title today says, the reality revelation. So where we can find the answer of tree of life and tree of good and evil? From the book of Revelation. When the book of Revelation is fulfilled, then we can truly understand what is the meaning of tree of life and tree of good and evil. Does it, does it make sense? And who was that entity making Adam to eat the fruit from tree of good and evil? Serpent. What is this serpent? This serpent talked to eat. Serpent is spoke. But today's serpent is too full. They cannot speak. In Genesis 3, serpent says, serpent spoke. Then, this serpent cannot be the literal serpent it is talking about today. Then, tree of life, tree of good and evil, they are not just tree we can understand. If you want to answer the, if you want to know the answer, then please come to Shinchenji and study. Anyway, due to the deceptions of serpent, the Satan, man got separated from God. Sin entered to the man, but God, he doesn't have any sin, so God cannot live, dwell with the man. So due to the man's people's sin, God has to leave the lower village. And where did he go? He go to the heaven. So we call it kingdom of heaven, where God dwells. Where the kingdom of heaven used to be? The kingdom of heaven used to be on this earth. So Garden of Eden, it was like the kingdom of heaven. So before Adam sinned, with whom did he live? He used to live with God. However, because Adam sinned, God cannot dwell with the sinners. So God had to what? God had to leave this earth. Where was that fundamental reason? All that cause was from the serpent. And everything was created by God. So everything belongs to God. But since God lost everything, what should he do? Should he just let it be lost or should he find everything back? Right. To find everything back, for 6,000 years, he worked so desperately and that words are written in the Bible. All that story. Let's learn all together so that let's all fulfill the God's will so that let's can all live with God being the God's family all together forever and ever. Oh, today I think it will take a long time. Alright, after the Adam's sin, God left. And afterwards, the ninth descendants of Adam with Noah, what did God do? Now, the corrupted Adam's word, God judged them. Judgment, judgment means God wiped them out. So with the flood, God finished Adam's word and opened new words, new era with Noah. So we call that Noah's word. But when the Noah's new era was started, Noah's family, Ham and Canaan, they committed the sin. Like whom? Like Adam did. Then the sin, it must be judged and finished. So, God, through Moses and Joshua, what did he do? Again, he judged the Noah's word. How did it appear in the history? By conquering the land of Canaan. 
These days, when we look at the news or in the media, it says, Annaga, which means in Korean word, I do not go, which is the opposite word of speaking in Korean Canaan. So it indicates people do not go to the church anymore. Anyway, God judged the corrupted world of Noah and created physical Israel. How many tribes? 12 tribes. It is God's people. In Exodus 19, verse 5 to 6, God made covenant. The contents of the covenant was, If you obey me fully and keep my covenant, then out of all nations you will be my kingdom and the priests. However, at the time of King Solomon, people started to worship idols, other gods, and they committed the sin again, just like Adam did. So previously we saw, when Adam's word was corrupted, finished by Noah, and when Noah's word was corrupted, finished by Moses' people, then physical Israel, who started with Moses, but corrupted by the time of King Solomon, what happened? They were destroyed. Then they were destroyed. What does it mean? It indicates, again, God's kingdom and people are lost. So what does God do? God, again, he needed God's kingdom and God's people on this earth. So to make it happen, God planned what? God planned new things. God planned to create the new thing. It is written in Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 22. So what is the main point of the new thing? To create what? To create God's new kingdom and new people that are lost. I'm not talking about other things, other stories. I'm talking about the Bible. Any more details, you have opportunity to learn with us. There, um, you, you've got the chance so that you can learn more in detail. Anyway, to create the new thing, God promised two more things. God, one, promised to sow the two kinds of seed. And in Jeremiah 31, verse 31, God, he also promised to create the new covenant. God's promises must be fulfilled. 100%. All of them is fulfilled. So since God he promised two things, should they be fulfilled or not? They should be fulfilled, right? But before they are fulfilled, what must be done first? Must be noticed. It must be announced, noticed, everyone that it will be fulfilled so that when it does happen, people can believe, right? So for how long? Approximately for 600 years, the word was spread. So after 600 years later, which is around 2,000 years ago from today, at the time of the first coming of Jesus, these two promises were fulfilled. How they are fulfilled? In Matthew 13, verse 24 to 30, when you read there, there are good seed and weed. The good seed is God's seed. Weed is the Satan's seed. Then why these two kinds of seed were sown at the time of the first coming of Jesus? Because it is promised that two kinds of seed will be sown. When it says two kinds of seed will be sown, then can three or four kinds of seed be sown? No, they shouldn't. So according to the promise in Matthew 13, two kinds of seed were sown. In where? In the one field, which is the, the church of Jesus. So everyone in the church, how many seeds will grow? Two kinds of seeds will grow. Then, are you born with the seed of God or with the seed of Satan? How can you check? Let me tell you how, how to check. We can find quickly. Of course, everyone wants to say, I'm born with the seed of God. There's no one who wants to say, I'm born with the seed of Satan. 
two kinds of seed were sown according to the promise. And according to the promise that God will put the new covenant in Luke 22, verse 14 to 20, the new covenant was set. When you see that verse, at the Passover night, Jesus, he sat with the 12 disciples eating the Passover food and said, we will eat the Passover food again when the kingdom of God is fulfilled. Where? In the kingdom of my Father, which is the kingdom of God. So, we must understand, when is that time the kingdom of God is fulfilled? Until that time comes, to remind it, Jesus gave wine and bread. The real Passover food will be eaten at that time. But until that time, you have to commemorate by eating the wine and the bread. So what do people do? People, they do communion by drinking the wine and by eating the flesh. Now, do you think, okay, there will be the one day I will eat the true Passover food? By understanding the what really Jesus said and believe in it, that's the true way of the life of faith, right? So according to the promise of sowing two kinds of seeds, two kinds of seeds were actually sown. And according to the promise of making a new covenant, the promise was fulfilled. So, John 19 verse 30. When you go home, please find it by yourself. There Jesus said, it is finished. So Jesus, he came 2,000 years ago and he fulfilled everything what God promised. But it was not finished by just sowing two kinds of seeds or making a new covenant. Jesus, he made also the covenant. When the time comes, there will be the time to harvest. So the seed of God will be harvested to the barn. But at that time, the seed of Satan will not be harvested. Then everyone, you can quickly check whether we are born with seed of God or not. Are you harvested, everyone? If you are harvested, then you can say you are born with the seed of God. But I've never been harvested. Then, well, I don't want to say it with my mouth. Some churches, like, they put the, this big sign, the big flag saying, please harvesters do not come. Everyone, coming of the harvesters, according to the Bible, is it the blessing or not? It is the blessing, right? So those who are born with the seed of God, they are harvested, brought into the barn. But those who are born with the seed of Satan, they remained in the field, tied it up, and they will stay there. So those church goers who stay, who adhere to their churches, they've never been harvested. But then if they continue to stay in the same place forever, then what does it show? It indicates they are born with seed of Satan. Does it make sense? Everyone, have you ever been farming? People in Seoul, they may not know well, but when you do farm, you do not just sow the seed. First, you put the seeds into the water, stir it, and you see the wheat without seed float in the water because they are light. They look the same with out, outside, but there's the empty wheat. Those empty wheat, we call them chaff. Likewise, everyone. If they are truly born with the seed of God, will be found out as the wheat and will be harvested. Let me ask you again. Are you harvested? Or should you be harvested or not? We all, everyone, you should be harvested. But to be harvested, we need to find out where is the barn. So Bible describes everything about this place, time. The time of the harvest is end of the age. What's the end of age in your heart? Or what is the biblical end of age? And in Luke 22, Jesus promised to eat the Passover food in the kingdom of my Father, he said. So Jesus, he promised 
they will be the kingdom of God up here on this earth. Now we want to find this new covenant. What will be the main point, key points of the new covenant? It is book of Revelation. So in book of Revelation, how, when, where, the harvest happens, where's the barn, and who are the people remaining in the field and be burnt, and who will be participating into the new God's kingdom. Everything is clearly described. Then, should we understand this book of Revelation? Or is the book of Revelation exists for cult? But whenever we talk about the book of Revelation, people say, you are the cult, you are the cult. How funny it is. There's one God, one Jesus. We all have the same Bible. But why do you just keep saying that we are the cult for speaking about the book of Revelation? Now, let's move on to the next topic. We talk about the New Covenant, Revelations, prophecy, and actual entities that are fulfilled. So how the new covenant is fulfilled from Revelation 1 until 22, that procedures one by one. First, to understand the significance of the revelation, let us read Revelation 22, verse 18 to 19. Please read. Revelation chapter 22, verses 18 and 19. I warn everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book. If anyone adds anything to them, God will add to him the plagues described in this book. And if anyone takes words away from this book of prophecy, God will take away from him his share in the tree of life and in the holy city which are described in this book. Amen. Amen. Yes, it says, the oh, words of this book of prophecy. Revelation 22, when it says the words of this book of prophecy, right? This book is talking about Revelation. So, if anyone who adds to this word, what happens? What will be added? The plague will be added. And what? If you take it away, what does it mean? If you subtract, then you'll be taken away from that chair in the tree of life in the holy city. So what does it mean? Can you enter to the God's kingdom when you take away? No. But everyone then, why are you not studying the book of Revelation? You don't want to go to the kingdom of heaven? If we hope for kingdom of heaven, then should we understand book of Revelation or not? Does it make sense? Everyone, do you want to learn book of Revelation? Yes, with a believing heart, I'm speaking to you. And I speak nicely to you like this, everyone. With a good heart, I hope everyone can study. And I hope everyone can enter into the blessing. So here it says plus, right? If you add to the word of the revelation, the plague will be added. And if you take the word away, then you cannot enter to the God's kingdom. So simply speaking, we should not add or subtract to the word of prophecy. For anyone who, people who do not know anything about the revelation, did they add or take away? They completely take this word away. So they are what? They are taken away from the God's kingdom. So what is the life of faith? Everyone? I hope everyone can reflect about that fundamental thing about the life of faith. So when the word of God is fulfilled, the Lord must come back, right? And who will come? Jesus, he must appear first. It is Jesus who promised. So Jesus, he appears first, and he starts to fulfill everything, right? So, in Revelation 1, 2, and 3, those words that are mentioned. Let me tell you also the order of the fulfillment. Let's read Revelation 1 first. Revelation 1, verse 1, please read. Revelation 1.1, 1, 1, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants what must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. Amen. 
Amen. It begins with revelation from Jesus Christ. So, the book of Revelation, is it from Shincheonji? No. Whose revelation? It is the revelation from Jesus Christ. So we should know this. Like I said before, if only curse study of the book of Revelation, then only curse will go to the heaven. Why? The book of Revelation is from Jesus Christ. We should be very careful of what we say. We shouldn't trap ourselves, right? The book of Revelation begins with saying, Revelation from Jesus Christ. So, since this is the word of Jesus, we shouldn't add or subtract. And please keep this in your mind, which God gave him, here he indicates Jesus. So God gave Jesus what? God gave Jesus what must soon take place. Soon take place means it is the future events. In other words, the word of Book of Revelations is prophecy. God gave prophecy to Jesus. To what? To show his servants. To show his servants. Who are the servants? God's people. Then everyone. Are you the God's servants or Gentiles? If you are the God's servants, should you receive revelation or not? Right. God wanted to show the revelation to the servants, right? So, to show his servants, then the revelation is written. To what? To clearly testify to his servants. So, should we know the revelation or not? Right. We must know the revelation. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant, John, it says. Now, in which order the revelation is fulfilled, let me show you. First, let me show you the characters that appear in chapter 1, 2, and 3. Who appears first? Jesus appears first. It is Jesus who promised. So it is Jesus who comes and he fulfills everything. And in chapter 1, the image of Jesus is quite different from how he used to be 2,000 years ago. Here it says he has the golden sash in his chest, and his hair is like as white as wool. His eyes are like blazing fire. His legs are like the furnace. From his mouth, double-edged sword comes out. His faith is like the bright sun. It doesn't look like the man. So, disciple John, when he met Jesus at the Patmos Island, first, he didn't recognize, but he said, he looks like son of man. Someone like son of man. Why? Because Jesus, he looked different from how he used to be. So, Jesus, he was in spiritual body. Jesus, he came in the image of spiritual body. Jesus, he came in the spiritual body. So, is it visible to normal people? In today's time, if Jesus stands on the stage, then everyone would easily believe, right? If God was here, everyone would right away say, Amen, and believe in God. But in John chapter 1, it says, Word is God. So who is here also? God is here. Because God is in us. That's why I can speak the God's word. Inside of you, if you are God, then you may say Amen to His word. So Jesus, He came and He appeared first. And on His right hand, he had seven stars. Then, Jesus' hands must be huge to hold seven stars in his one hand. But it is not like that, right? The seven stars indicate seven people. 
So the second entity that appear, it is seven stars. But in Revelation 1, it says, verse 20, the seven stars are seven angels and seven churches. So it means Jesus, he chose seven people. Jesus, he comes in spiritual body. So in our eyes, he is invisible. But now Jesus, he appeared himself before seven stars. So the seven people they can see. So, now when someone says that seven people grouped in one and opened one church or organization, we got to open the Bible and double check. And also, when Shinchenji has appeared, everyone, you have to open the book of Revelation and check, not just the same here as in the code. That's the true attitude as the believer. Then, where did the seven stars appear? In Gwachin, just one mountain over Seoul. In that place, the called Tabernacle Temple. This place has appeared. Then, we have to check according to the Bible whether the Tabernacle Temple actually started with the seven messengers who called themselves as the seven stars or not. Why should we check it? For our salvation. And if it is not according to the Bible, then we can slander like saying cult and heresy. The seven stars or seven messengers, they appeared first. Then, those who saw these people should know their face and their names too, right? Because that person saw it. My name is Yu Yong -Hyu. Now, when you're walking on the street and if you see me, you will recognize me now, right? Ah, you are the guy who did a seminar last time. You will recognize me now because you know my face and my name. Likewise, if there's the one who saw these seven messengers, that person will know their face, their names, and what did they do. The temple. So there, who also appeared? Nicolaitans was promised and written to appear. And everything must fulfill, appear into this order so that the prophecy, we can say, they are fulfilled. So, Nicolaitans appear. What did they do? He deceived seven messengers. So, in Revelation 2 and 3, it says, Nicolaitans make them eat food sacrificed to idols, or make them to commit sexual immorality. So, seven messengers, they forsake first love. That's what Revelation 2 describes. Everyone, please remember those expressions, and when you read Revelation by yourself, it will be more helpful to understand. This Nicolaitans, in Revelation 13, described as the beast come out of the sea. How does it look like? The beast which has seven heads and ten horns. Everyone, now these days is the holiday period. Whenever you go to the beach or the sea, have you ever seen the beast with seven heads and ten horns? Everyone, if you if you ever seen the kind of a beast, please let me know so that I can bring the Bible right away and then check according to the Bible. That beast with seven heads and ten horns was called triple six in the past. In Korea, like people, they say that what triple six is the barcode or computer chips. In 1992, at that time, people they claimed like that. That was the time when I started my life of faith in Chinchenji. So I felt I learned this word. Then I went to the church and I asked them, "Well, Bible describes such things. So can you please check?" But churches, they just all ignored what the Bible says and they just said, Oh, I received the image, I received the word from God. No, if they really received it, then they must be able to testify according to the Bible, right? Anyway, when Nicolaitans appeared like this and deceived the seven messengers, and Jesus, he chose new messengers. 
the new messenger. So that Jesus made him. Now, Jesus, he showed everything to that messenger, to that chosen one. What did the seven messengers do? What did Nicolaitans do? And then Jesus commanded to this chosen man to send the letters and testify what they have done. So how does the event of Revelation begin? It begins with the appearance of Jesus. Since Jesus is in spiritual body, with our ordinary eyes, we cannot see. But that Jesus, he chose seven messengers and then started the work. But there, Nicolaitans appear and Nicolaitans deceive these messengers and destroy that church. That time, Jesus, he chose one new person out of the tabernacle temple showing everything to him and commanding him to send letters to testify. And this man who sent letter, he is the promised pastor who is chosen by Jesus and who is working together with Jesus. We can check. Then, whom should we go to? We can find answers straight away. So, in Revelation 2 and 3, so what does it say? Fight and overcome Nicolaitans. Then I will give you 12 blessings. Then according to that promise, everything must be fulfilled, right? So that this chosen, the one who overcomes, he who overcomes, after he sent letters, then event moves to Revelation chapter 4. In chapter 4, he saw the hierarchy of the throne of God. There was the throne of God, 24 elders, 7 spirits like the lamp. And there also he saw spirits move like the lightning. Why spirits move like lightning? In order to fulfill the God's word, they are working very rapidly. That's what he who overcomes his soul. God and Jesus, in order to fulfill the words of Revelation, is working, they are working very hard. That's what we need to understand. After that, we move on. We move to Revelation chapter 5. In chapter 5, there was the throne of God. And God was sitting there, and he held something on his right hand. There was the book sealed with seven seals. How many seals again? With the seven seals. This book is the book of Revelation. Since it is sealed, no one on this earth, under the earth, or on the heaven, can open it and look inside of it. If this is true, until this book is open, can anyone understand the book of Revelation? No one can understand. Not knowing Revelation. Because of that, now they start to add to or subtract from the Bible. And let me ask you again, everyone. Did you add to or subtract from the book of Revelation? So everyone, what is the life of faith? I will tell you later, but Shinchenji has mastered the book of Revelation. We have mastered. That's why I'm testifying here. So, on the hand of God, there was the book sealed with seven seals. Because it was sealed, of course, pastors, they do not know. What PhD in theology, they cannot know. Because it was sealed and held by God. Because it is still, when nobody knows, people, they try to understand it and they try to make up their own teachings. That's how commentary appeared. Funny thing is, what is commentary, everyone? When there's the one verse, there are like three, four, or more than that many commentaries are written saying that we assume what it seems like they're describing about what that verse means. Why there are so many options and so many answers are there? Because people do not understand truly. 
that we have to testify what we have seen actually, right? The book was held by God. In Revelation 1, it says, whose revelation, everyone? It's revelation from Jesus Christ. So who opens it? It is Jesus who opens it. If it was God who opens it, then in Revelation 1, it might be recorded, revelation from Lord Almighty. But instead, it says revelation from Jesus Christ. So we understand that it is Jesus who will reveal all these books. So in Revelation 5, Jesus appeared. And the book sealed by seven seals moved from God to Jesus. Please read chapter 5 on yourself. When the book was transferred to Jesus, the whole spiritual realm was in excitement. Why? When God was holding it, angels know also that it is God who will not open the book. But now, when it is moved to Jesus, angels right away, they are so excited and they start to glorify. The one who is worthy to open the seals. Why angels start to glorify Jesus so that it can quickly be rebuilt? The revelation must be fulfilled so that angels can take some rest, right? So Jesus he took the book in chapter 6, he opened six seals, and the last seal was opened in chapter 8. When every seals are open, it is open scroll now, right? It is open. It is opened. That's why it is called revealed or revelation. But this revealed word is not given to everyone. God gave this book to Jesus, and Jesus gave it to his servant John by sending his angels to show his servants, it says. So who will appear afterwards? Angel appeared, and angel received that open scroll from Jesus. That is the open scroll that appeared in chapter 10. Now, angel have it. Revelation 1, it says, by sending angel to who? To his servant John, it says. So, likewise, when we see in Revelation chapter 10, the open scroll was there, and then John asks to angel, please give it. And then angel said, take it and eat it. So that open scroll went inside of John. Why? To show what? To show his servants. Everyone, if you are the God's servants, following to these procedures, we should receive the God's word, right? So have you received this word? Now everyone should receive in this way. Now, does God have the word? No. Why? He gave it. Is it to Jesus? No. Is it to angel? No. Then, if I want to know the word of revelation, to whom should I go to? I should find the one who ate it, according to the revelation, right? So, in Revelation, chapter 22, verse 8, it says, I, John, who saw and heard everything, and Revelation 22, verse 16, it says, I, Jesus, have sent my angel or my servant to give you this testimony for the churches. So, according to the book of Revelation, there must be the promised pastor who must appear and testify the word of God to the churches. Now, when he appeared, should we slander him and say, Hope? 2,000 years ago, Jesus, he was called cult, slandered. By whom? By the Jerusalem pastors, and he was crucified. Should we do the same thing? We shouldn't do the same thing, right? To not repeat the same mistake, the word of revelation is given to us. So, let's do not just slander by calling cult and heresies, but let's realize the word of God together, fulfill the God's willingness together, so that we can be the true family of God who can enter to the salvation. And this promised pastor of new, new covenant, should we find him or not? Let's find him, and we should find him, so that we can master the book of Revelation. I truly hope for that.
those people can become the true servants of God. I've covered up to chapter 5 now, okay? And the rest of the chapters as well. Now, in Revelation 5, Jesus, he took the book. Then, starting from chapter 6, he starts to break the seals. But when he says, open the seal or break the seals, it means, fulfill the promises. So while the promises are fulfilled, the great events happen in chapter 6. The sun, moon, and stars, they get darkened and they fall. Revelation 6 it says, heaven and earth disappear. Sun, moon, and stars, they get darkened and they fall. What does it mean then? In other words, we can express it as end of the age. This is the end of the age. In Matthew 13, when was the time of the harvest? End of the age. But this is not talking about the end of planet Earth. So do not worry about it. Do not think of running away. When corrupted Adam's world was finished, and then new Noah's era started, in the same way, now, the spiritual Israel's era, which was founded by Jesus, is finished. That is the end of the age. And that disappeared in Revelation chapter 6. And after this, after this, in Revelation chapter 7, the events of sealing appear. The people who are sealed, they formed 12 tribes. How many are there? 144,000 who are sealed appear, and they formed 12 tribes. Afterwards, the great multitude who are dressed in white promised to appear. Then, should everything appear according to the promises or not? Right, everything must appear. After the sun and stars are finished, and then the new nation and new people appear. How does Bible describe about this? Matthew 24, verse 29 to 31, it describes like this, saying, After the sun, moon, and stars, they get darkened and fall. Jesus comes with angels and harvest. So now, sun, moon, and stars are finished. So what should happen? Harvest must take place. So, in Revelation chapter 14, that chapter describes about the event of harvest. And with those people who are harvested, 12 tribes are created. In Matthew 8, verse 11 to 12, verse says, The subjects of the kingdom of heaven will be expelled. And from the east and the west, people will gather and sit in the kingdom of heaven. The subjects of the kingdom of heaven who are expelled, they are talking about the Revelation 6, someone and stars, the corrupted spiritual Israel. And then those who are coming from east and west and sitting in the kingdom of heaven are talking about people who are harvested. In other expression, Revelation 21 verse 1, it is said, The first heaven and first earth had passed away. The sum of the stars, they used to be. What are they? They are the first heaven and first earth. They are passed away. And then, the newly created God's kingdom, they become new heaven and new earth. New heaven and new earth in Chinese character. How do we call it? We call it that famous Xin Chanji, everyone. So, we shouldn't just say Xin Chanji, Xin Chanji. Let's know the meaning behind of it. The new heaven and new earth, when we write it down in Chinese character, then we call it Xin Chanji. So, we are testifying what has been fulfilled so far. And Revelation is fulfilled up to chapter 17. Which chapter, everyone? Until 17, it is fulfilled. And now, what should we do? Everyone, you should open the book of Bible, the book of Revelation, and you could ask, Have it been fulfilled? Show me the actual entities. You told me it is the, up to Revelation 17 that are fulfilled, so please show me the actual entities. Ask him like this, check according to the revelation, and please believe accordingly. 
Everything occurs like this. That's how Shincheonji is currently growing up rapidly. So Shincheonji is growing up rapidly. Why everyone Shincheonji is growing up so well? The reason for rapid growth of Shincheonji is what? Because God, Jesus, and angels are here. Right. What is the evidence? What is the proof? Saying that God, angels, sorry, God, Jesus, and angels are with us. The word is here. How amazing it is if we can all see God, Jesus, and angels visibly. Everyone, they are already here next to you. They are invisible. That's why, everyone. That's why it is hard to believe, but it is great to believe. And what else do we have? We have the actual entities. We have the promised revealed word and actual entities that are fulfilled. I feel sorry that I cannot teach everything at this time, but I hope everyone can go there, find it, and study for you. That's your task now. And because everything is created according to the revelation, like stamping on it. Because revelation promised 12 tribes, Shincheonji has 12 tribes. The name of Shincheonji, the organizations, and everything was created according to the revelation. When he says Shincheonji, it is the abbreviation indicating new heaven and new earth. Church of Jesus, it means it is the church founded by Jesus. The temple of tabernacle of testimony, what is it? According to the Revelation 15 verse 5, those people who saw everything according to the Revelation events gathered in the one place, and that place is called temple of tabernacle of testimony. So even our names are written according to the Revelation. Does the name Presbyterian appear in the Revelation? But the Revelation shows the name of Shichenji, Church of Jesus, the Temple of Tabernacle of Testimony. So I hope everyone can realize this. And because Shichenji has mastered Revelation, not adding to or subtracting from it. This is our pride, everyone. Let me tell you something. In the service time, now, Shincheonji's congregation members start to stand on the stage and give the sermon. Why? Because Shincheonji has mastered the revelation. And Shincheonji here, we do the test every week. Why? To identify, to double check that we are sealed. Very amazing place. Why we do this? We do everything according to the revelation. Like this, everyone, it was a short time. But it was a great time that I share with you about the 6,000 years of the work of God, the promises, and the actual entities of the revelation. I hope this is the starting time, starting point for you to start to study the book of Revelation more in depth. I hope everyone can realize that not even missing a single person, everyone can fulfill the God's will and live in the promised God's kingdom and receive the blessings of eternal life and live with God forever and ever. I truly hope that in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much, everyone. Let me pray. Dear Father who is full of love, today, in Suwon City, we truly thank you for allowing us to open Shinchenji 12 Christ Bible Seminar and guided us into the revealed word. Those who add to and subtract from the book of Revelation cannot enter the God's kingdom, but receive the plagues it was vividly mentioned in the Revelation. Oh, Father, please let every participant of today's event, let them learn the revealed word, fill it in each of their hearts, so that they can master the book of the Revelation, and they can all enter into the blessings of eternal life and salvation. 
Despite of their busy schedules, yet they participated today's events. Looking for the word of truth, Mr. So Father, please remember all those who participated through online and protect them physically and spiritually. Bless them in their lives so that always they can be filled with the glory of God and grace of God. Father God, we truly, truly pray for that. Chosen by Jesus, chairman who saw everything and who testified everything through our chairman Man Hili. All those words are testified has been delivered today in this limited time. Please let we believe everything that you have promised will be fulfilled. So please, Father, make everything happen quickly. Come onto this earth so that a day sooner you can live with us forever and ever. We give all these thanks to our Father God and all this in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Yes, I didn't we receive a lot of grace from the Word? First, let's give glory to our Creator God who allowed us to be here today with a round of applause. And let's give another great round of applause to tribe leader Young Ju Yu, who clearly testified the fulfilled realities of the New Covenant revelation today. Yes, thank you. Everyone, since the word is very logical, didn't you feel neat and refreshed on the inside? The prophecies and fulfilled realities of Revelation can be testified according to the five W's and one H in Shinshinji Church of Jesus because New John, the messenger who speaks on behalf and who received an eight, God and Jesus' revealed word, just as it says in Revelation 10, is here. While there are also promises regarding destruction and judgment in Revelation, there is also a word of hope about how God will come down to this earth, the kingdom of heaven will be made, and the salvation and eternal life will be fulfilled. Since all of these words are being fulfilled, everyone, how do you feel? I hope that all of us may be believers who have true hearts and who will receive the blessings God promised. Now, the Zion Choir has prepared a special performance with the praise song titled The Kingdom of Freedom, Peace, and Love. Let's welcome them with a great round of applause.
네, 다시 한번 뜨거운 박수 부탁드립니다. Yes, let's give them another round of applause. 앵콜이 절로 나오죠? 네, 앞쪽에서는 앵콜이 막 나오고 있습니다. 네, 정말 어, 너무나 감동적이었죠. It was very moving, wasn't it? 통화, 그리고 사랑이 가득한 나라에서 I hope we can serve and live with God forever in the kingdom full of freedom, peace, and love. 사람에게도 하나님의 나라에서 영원히 함께 삽시다. Let's greet the person next to us by saying, let's live in God's kingdom together forever. 네, 멋진 찬양 준비해 주신 시온 과이어에게 다시 한번 And yes, let's give another round of applause to the Zion Choir for their amazing performance. 네. 오늘 신천지 계시 말씀과 하늘 문화를 경험해 보셨나요? Today we got to experience Shinchinji's revealed word and heavenly culture. How was it? Was it good? 이렇게 계속 성장하는 이유를 아시겠죠? Do you know why Shinchinji continues to grow? 전 세계 많은 신앙인들과 목회자들이 목회자분들께서 Many believers and pastors in looking for the truth are knocking on Shinchinji's door. And this year, we are planning on having another 100,000 graduation. 자, 이렇게 신천지가 급성장한 이유는 신천지 is growing rapidly in this way because as we learn today God who is the word and Jesus also the word are with it. 마다 이 말씀을 전하시는 약속의 목자 계속 계시기 때문입니다. 그래서 오늘 the promised pastor who is preaching the word is here. So, now I will tell you about how, how you can use, find the follow-up education in which you can easily and systematically learn the greatest truth of mankind today based on the five W's and one H. Do you remember what it says in Revelation 22, 18 to 19? If you add or subtract from Revelation, then what happens? You will receive plagues. Because this word of Revelation is so important, anyone who adds to or subtracts from Revelation will receive plagues. This is not something that Shinchenji claims, but these are the words of God and Jesus in whom you all believe that they recorded in the Bible. Do you not know this? Do you have to know or not know? If you have to know the word, raise your hand. Oh, everybody rose their hand. Raise your hand if you have to know the word. Someone's raising two hands. So God allowed us to be here. So let's let God receive the glory. And now if we look at the screen, you can refer to the information for the follow-up education. 자, 그러면 이제 안내해 주는 내용으로 여러분 들으시면 되겠습니다. So now I will uh, show you about the fall of education in detail. 여러분께서 원하시는 곳에서 부담 없이 so you'll be able to learn the fall of education in your desired region without burden. So please learn the word of the book of Revelation. It's a total of 22 chapters, 404 verses, so please learn this. And through this opportunity, we will master the prophecy and fulfillment of the 66 books of the Bible, and even the fulfilled realities of Revelation, so I hope that it would be a time in which you can receive great blessings from heaven. Please remain in your seats. Uh, and we'll explain some. After we finish, we'll finish the seminar here and give the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have also forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Yes. Let's give 
Glory to God through applause once more. And so please uh, listen to how you can.